Hi and welcome to another how-to guide brought to you by NetAngel. In this episode we're going to talk you through how to add your child's account to the Nintendo Switch and configure the parental controls. Why is the ability to set parental controls an important feature? We want our children to embrace technology and technology is great. Whether we like it or not it's become part of their daily lives. As a parent or guardian it is really important that we look after our children's digital well-being. This could include a healthy time balance across all devices, appropriate filters in place to make sure that your child's not exposed to anything that isn't right for their age. All apps and games are set to the correct age rating. Nintendo have developed parental control features for your child's Nintendo Switch. This allows you to set an agreeable time limit that works for both you and your child. This has worked really well for me and my family. I've explained to my children why it's really important to have a healthy time balance. And why as their parent there are certain games and apps that I don't want them to be playing at this moment in time. However, I will allow them to play them once they're old enough. It's really important that these tools aren't used as a form of punishment. It's about sitting down with your child and explaining the importance of their digital well-being. Following on from our last video, we will now talk you through how to add your newly configured child's account to their Nintendo Switch. Select System Settings, scroll down to User and scroll down to Add User. Select Create New User. Ask your child to select an icon, alternatively create your own icon. Press A to continue. Now enter your child's Nintendo nickname and select OK to continue. You now get a message to state that this user will be added to the console. Select OK to continue. You can link a Nintendo account to your user. Once a Nintendo account has been linked to a user, you cannot then change which Nintendo account is linked to that user. Go ahead and sign in and link. You're now presented with a window linking a Nintendo account. Please select the sign in method. In this scenario, we're going to use sign in using an email address or sign in ID. Go ahead and enter the sign in ID that you created for your child's account. Follow this by entering their password. Select OK to continue. You'll now receive a message this Nintendo account will be linked to the Nintendo Switch console. Please note, once this is done, you will not be able to change your linked account. Go ahead and select Link. You'll now receive a message. Because you link to a Nintendo account, you can now use the following features. Friends features, news about games and special offers, Nintendo eShop, posting screenshots to social networks. Select OK to continue. You'll now return to the User section under System Settings. And as you can see, your new user has now been added. Now let's configure the parental controls. Go to System Settings and move down to Parental Controls. You have the option to watch an introductory video about Nintendo Switch Parental Controls. In this scenario, we're going to select Parental Control Settings. Before continuing, you'll need to download and install the Nintendo Switch Parental Control app. This is available for both Android and Apple phones. If you've already downloaded the app, select OK. You are now required to enter the six digit registration code that is displayed in the Nintendo Switch Parental Control app. On your Android device, launch the Nintendo Switch Parental Control app. Press the plus sign. Select Add Nintendo Switch Console. You'll now get a message a Nintendo Switch console will be linked to this app. Please ready your Nintendo Switch. Select Next to continue. You'll now receive your six digit code to enter into your Nintendo Switch to link the account. On your Nintendo Switch, select Enter Registration Code. Now enter the registration code and select OK to continue. You'll now receive a message to confirm that you want to link the account. Go ahead and select Link. You are now instructed to continue setup on your smart device. So go onto your smart device and you'll see that you've received a message successfully linked switch. Go ahead and select set playtime. 
This feature allows you to set how much time you're going to allow your child to spend on their Nintendo Switch each day. In this scenario we're setting it to two hours. You can now continue and select a restriction level for your child. Nintendo provide restriction level templates allowing you to set the appropriate age level for your child. These include team, child, young child or custom. These can be amended at a later stage as your child gets older and you give them more responsibility. In this scenario we're going to select young child. As you can see with these restrictions in place my child will not be able to play any games that are a PEGI rating of 8 plus. They will not be able to post screenshots and videos on social media and they won't be able to communicate with others. The VR mode is also restricted. As I said though, these can be amended at any stage. Select complete to confirm the settings. Select start using parental controls. Now when your child starts to play on the Nintendo Switch, what you'll find is all their activity insight will be listed here and it will really allow you to look after their digital well-being. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more parental how-to guides or leave a comment on what you'd like to see guidance on and we'll see what we can do. NetAngel content is designed for parents by parents.